Okay, you've been around for a number of these now, haven't you? How many state of the states? Oh, this probably would be, uh, I guess, 19, 20, <laughs> something like It's up that high, right? Well, it's, uh, I guess it's 18, I don't know. How many D's, how many R's? Well, I, had, uh, I, I came in with Governor Rose. Okay. And uh, But did not hear a state of the state because I was appointed too late for a state of the state. Um, I believe. Let's check that. Check the journal. But um, Celeste, uh, so uh, eight years of uh, Celeste, eight years of Voinovich, um, two years of Taft, and, uh, and now uh, this is the third year with Governor Stroop. What, uh, what did you hear they said today that you liked? You know, it's uh, it obviously uh, no, it was a speech that was full of, I think, bold proposals. Uh, not only education, I mean, uh, a lot of things that, that, that and you say, well, where, where do you, you know, how do you fund this and, and, and so forth. You know, but you're right, when you go back and you look at my history, and, and, and I think the people of Ohio truly want to see leadership, want to see bold leadership on the part of our governor and on the part of the elected officials. And just to use the education part of his speech as, 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 as an example, um, we have a big school fund. And, you know, people said, well, why don't they do something? Why doesn't the legislature do something? And, and, and for the last year, people were saying, well, where is this proposal? Well, you know what? The proposal is here. It's bold. It's... Uh, it, it's, it's going to take some very, very strong leadership on the part of the administration and uh, some strong leadership on the parts of both sides of this aisle. But, uh, you know, good work takes a, lot of, uh, takes a lot of hard work. And it's going to be an exciting year and one that I think we will see some transformation of education in the state of Ohio. Uh, will all components of this uh, proposal be enacted into law? No. Uh, but I think a lot of it has a very good likelihood that a lot of it will. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's exciting. I, I watched, uh, I mean, from uh, the testing aspect, uh, uh, changing uh, some things that started way back many, many years ago when I was, I was chairing education, by the way, and, and it was being pushed by, at that time, Senator Gene Watts. And uh, had my doubts about it then. And... Uh, it's kind of like Gun 360, mm -hmm. uh, even just on the testing issue. So mm -hmm. it, it's it's very it's very interesting to, to look at the historical perspective of, uh, of of even that one component of the governor's speech. Mm -hmm. Now you're one of the few Democrats who's been around long enough to remember the last Democratic majority in the House, correct? Oh, absolutely. And uh, so, what advice do you give to some of the new people who haven't been in that Democrats who haven't been in that position going forward from the state of the state? First and foremost, is they take leadership roles in committee to respect the minority. I think that that uh, I think that's important, um, and be willing to uh, listen and be willing to take advice, um, not only from uh, your your Democrat colleagues but also your Republican colleagues. And I think uh, you know if we're going to accomplish and do good work, we have to be willing to. Uh, to, to, to compromise and to, and to work with both sides of the aisle. And I think that's important. Uh, and, and with a, re a Republican-controlled Senate as well, and I, I think our Democrats uh, have, have uh, over there in the Senate have, have really built some bridges uh, with Senator Harris. Uh, I, I think that uh, it's going to be a difficult session, but I think it's a session that uh, if we can uh, um, work together, uh, we can get great things accomplished for the state even during these very, very difficult economic time, times of so, so serious and so, uh, I've never seen anything like this as long as the many years as I served in the General Assembly and the, and the number of biennial budgets that I've been involved in, I have never, I've never witnessed this type of uh, economic situation. Okay. Good. Thanks. All right. Thanks Thank a you lot. very much. Always a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs>